Hello everybody, this is Hammer Striker here. Just a quick video to answer a question that actually came up in the comments. Would I choose the Glock 42 over the Ruger LCP Max now that the LCP Max is out and has noticeably higher capacity? So just a little bit, I'm gonna spend a lot of time on specs and details, but you'll see that the Glock holds six, plus of course one in the pipe, which it doesn't have right now, and the LCP Max holds 10, plus one in the pipe, which of course this one's unloaded as well. And there is a extended grip basically that it gives you a little bit more grip on the gun. So ergonomically, and it also give, it extends it to 12, mag, 12 rounds. So the LCP Max does have a capacity advantage over the Glock. It's thinner, it's smaller. I'm gonna sit it right on top of the box and it, you know, the Glock kind of dwarfs it. And it's lighter. The trigger is actually decent. Nice, short, crisp break. Trigger is actually a little bit better than the Glock, which is a little bit stiffer, though it's consistent with all the other Glocks. So if you listen to all of that, and you might say, okay, well, it's a, it's a no-brainer, the LCP Max. Not so fast. Two reasons I would stick with the Glock 42. One reason I would stick with the Glock 42 is consistency with all the other Glocks I've got. So I carry Glocks, I carry them for concealed carry, I use them for home defense, I use them when I'm hunting. So I go all the way from this little 42 when I travel, which I haven't traveled quite as much lately with the whole pandemic thing. And that was part of the question is would I replace the Glock 42 with this for travel? And, and I wouldn't. But when I go from those various different sizes and calibers, they all work the same. So I don't have to rethink which one's in my hand. I pick it up and it, it's a Glock and it works like a Glock. But more importantly, we had some reliability issues with this, most of them centering around the magazine. For example, when we were getting ready to take this to the range for the first time, I was standing at the same table we shoot at for the videos, and I was loading a magazine and it fell from my hand to the table. And by the way, this table's padded to try to make it quieter for doing videos. It hit the table and it was loaded and it just blew apart, just into the pieces you see here. I also had some initial issues with magazines on this not locking back and not working correctly. And Ruger sent some new magazines and actually even one of the new magazines didn't work quite like it was supposed to. So I've had more reliability and quality control issues with the Ruger than I've ever had with the Glocks. And yes, the Glock when it very first came out did have some issues, but Glock addressed them so quickly and they've never recurred. So in summary, do I like the LCP Max? Yeah, I think it's a great little gun. Would I choose it over the Glock 42? Absolutely not. I would stick my Glock 42, at least for now, until something else comes out that can surpass it. Seven rounds that I know for a fact are going to work and go off are better than, in my mind, 10 or 12 or actually 11 or 13 rounds that might not. 